Hi, my name is Margot Deese, and today I will be presenting Biting Hunger Back, A Fight to Feed Our Starving Children. Think of a time when you were watching your favorite TV show, and when it went on break, a commercial featuring something like this comes on. It's pretty heartbreaking, right? In fact, it is so heartbreaking that it probably overwhelmed you instead of inspired, and you changed the channel instead of donated. We've all done it, so I'm certainly not pointing fingers. But the truth is that one in six children are sent to bed hungry every night, according to Move for Hunger. Move for Hunger is an organization that teams up with moving companies all across the United States so your unwanted, unopened, non-perishable food doesn't go to waste. They do this by enlisting moving companies to take your food to the local pantries. They make it very easy for you to find these movers by including a search locator that shows companies within a 50 mile radius of your home. They make moving easier for you and you get to help families out by doing almost nothing, so it's a win-win. Now I would like you to think of your favorite breakfast cereal or snack. Alright, it's likely that half of you, or maybe even all of you, thought of a product of Kellogg's. I bet you thought they only specialized in making food, didn't you? Well, I've got some news. They also have a huge philanthropy aspect of their company that is dedicated to feeding hungry children. One of their amazing programs is called Breakfast for Better Days. This program started in 2013 and has really made a large impact since then. Some of their accomplishments include donating, quote, two and a half billion servings of food to people in need, end quote, expanding nutrition programs to impact two million children, supporting and encouraging 500,000 farmers, and engaging 300 million others to address food security. That seems like a pretty hefty impact to me, but they want their impact of this program to, quote, create three billion better days by the end of 2025, end quote. One strategy Kellogg Company used to accomplish these things was their partnership with Feeding America. This partnership resulted in an outcropping of on-site school pantries that I read about in a blog post written by Jody Gibson, a leader of Breakfast for Better Days. In her post, Gibson talks about how these on-site food pantries have helped lift a burden off of children and their families because it assures they have food when the school day is over. This is a huge deal considering the earlier fact that one in six children go to bed hungry. Next up on the list of some amazing organizations include Feeding America, which is the one I mentioned earlier. This organization is solely dedicated to food assistance. This is not a side project they do for philanthropy, it is their main focus. I've already mentioned one of the programs Feeding America has done, which was the school pantries, but they also have many other things in the works that are driven by their four main focuses. Food recovery, foods that nourish, food safety, and food security. Food recovery is all about putting an end to food waste. What we don't realize is that a lot of food being wasted in America is actually perfectly edible and can be relocated to food banks. And I'm not saying they want you to pack up your half-eaten cheeseburger and haul it off to the nearest pantry because that would be gross. This idea is much more reformative than that. Here's just three innovative ways they are combating food waste. First is Starbucks Food Share. Starbucks Food Share is a program where every night when the stores close, all the unsold food that would be thrown away gets picked up by trucks and is hauled off to local Feeding America food banks. Not only do they have good coffee, but they also have good heart. Next up, we have the work from the Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee. They collaborate with, quote, one of the nation's largest green bean growers to rescue millions of pounds of green beans that are snapped or too short for grocery stores, end quote. Millions of pounds were just being thrown away until they stepped in and found a place for these perfectly imperfect green beans right in the bellies of those who need it most. Isn't that amazing? And last but not least is Feeding America's Meal Connect website. This website allows donors, like a restaurant, to easily connect with food banks when they have a surplus of food. They just have to sign up for a free account, fill out the simple donation request on the website, and a Feeding America food bank member will pick it up for the donator and, locate, and relocate it. The Feeding America website also has a Waste It or Taste It quiz that allows you to choose whether you would eat the food or throw it away. The food looked perfectly fine to me, but they were actually deemed wasted foods because of the simplest reasons, like these pineapples. It really does show how much food is easily wasted in America. Also, for every quiz taken, Feeding America receives a $1 donation. 
Under the Foods That Nourish tab, we learn that Feeding America isn't just giving out whatever substance food they can find. They want their food to contain the nourishment and wellness that everyone should have, especially children. The ways they do this are making produce more available to hungry people and opening the door to healthy eating. Making produce more available to hungry people involves their use of a produce matchmaker that connects growers of produce to local Feeding America food banks, having mobile food pantries, and utilizing Meal Connect, the app we talked about earlier. Opening the door to healthy eating is all about smart merchandising and hands-on education. To explain their smart merchandising approach, Feeding America gives the examples of, quote, putting cabbage in a prominent location, end quote, or displaying wheat, bre wheat bread with the health benefits clearly shown. Food safety is just what it sounds like, making sure the food they provide is completely safe. They do this by upholding the same requirements that U.S. restaurants have to succumb to, and they make all of their staff members and food banks go through a training course. Food security involves a lot of raising awareness, advocating, and conducting research. They raise awareness by releasing public service announcements, teaming up with some well-known celebrities to serve on the Entertainment Council, and partnering with large corporations to make marketing campaigns. They advocate for food insecure people by having a policy staff in Washington, D.C., and their research is conducted with the aid of the largely useful Map the Meal Gap tool, which shows every county and congressional district's food insecurity rates. Talk about being specific. So with all of this information, we can tell that Feeding America is truly in it to win it. Their work is continuously progressing and looking for the most efficient ways to end hunger. But they are also a huge organization. I mean, they are called Feeding America, after all. So with that in mind, I wanted to bring it down to our level more and highlight some things right at home here in Statesboro. The Statesboro Food Bank is located at 400 Donnie Simmons Way, and they are a huge help to Statesboro's hungry people. They do things like emergency assistance, which assures that people have food in between the time, in the time between applying for food stamps and receiving them. And they also have a mobile food pantry that provides around 30,000 pounds of food during spring and summertime. They rely hugely on volunteers. It even says so right on their volunteer page. According to them, quote, volunteers can lend a hand daily, end quote. So if you ever feel a desire to help others, that is one great way to get some personal fulfillment, help the people of our community, and I'm sure you could also beef up a resume with your volunteer hours. Oh, and you can always donate, of course. So that's all for my presentation, and I hope you guys learned something about the ways that people are trying to combat hunger, and maybe even feel led to donate or volunteer for our community. Thank you.